What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, tell your clan about the channel. We do daily live streams here, and we do daily tournaments as well. So, it's a good way to earn some free cards, make some friends, all that good stuff. So, guys, I like to switch decks up in each episode, but this is a little different than the Golem deck I did yesterday, because it's got the Tombstone instead of the Furnace, and it has the Baby Dragon instead of the um, Guards, and then it has the Log instead of the ice spirit so let's go ahead and play a match and see how we do we're three and one so far in this grand challenge with it i haven't played too much with it but i can see potential with it because the the baby dragon cannot be lightning so with everyone running lightning right now it's kind of a nice thing to pay a little more elixir for something that can't be lightning I'm gonna let that happen on the left. I'm gonna build up for the, uh... I hope we... Ice Wizard's so good. Like... I'm not sure why I don't play Ice Wizard in every single deck. Now this deck does shine in Double Elixir. Should only get two hits, right? No, I... We should still get some decent damage then. Look at that, man. That, uh... reason I went ahead and zapped it is I don't want that to ruin I didn't want it to take out my tombstone because that's really my best counter for this hog rider all right we're probably gonna die here luckily those skeletons are gonna tank a little bit we're still gonna take a couple hundred damage right yep Tower, that's good. So archers with tombstone takes it out. That's good to know. I like that we can just play the tombstone there. Alright guys, so that's the deck kind of. I'm not that good with it yet, but as you can see, even if we lost that tower, I think we were in control of the match the whole time. Um, I beat someone with 4,200 trophies with it, and then I lost to someone with 4,400 trophies with it. But um, overall, I think it's a good deck, so if you want to try it, I would suggest uh, at least giving it a try. A lot of top players are playing Golem decks right now, and although I'm not as like... You know, I, was, I did better with the... You know, I might play the Expo deck as well. Ooh, he messed up there because now that the now that that's been nerfed, I can lightning that and the princess away. So the second that we get the ten elixir. Now the death damage will be dealt onto the tower. So as you can see, boom, like it's like 350 damage. And we got a mega minion on there. The death damage plus zap took it out. That's what's good about these are is that minions and uh, minion horde kind of like get really wounded from the death damage and then you can just zap them. <clears throat> 
from the from the golemite damage from the main golem it kills it kills them in one shot <clears throat> whenever the big golem dies it kills it kills minion horde instantly so wow he's playing the same deck well no he's not playing the same deck at all but he's playing a golem deck Take that out, thank you. And I think that went well for us. We're still getting damage and he's not getting any. Because that princess and... Um, watch these archers here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. They two-shot. I mean... Do you think that that uh, rage was really worth it? He might have gotten an extra, what, 100 damage? Watch this. You know, I could have played just conservative there and not even done a golem push, but we're so far ahead, I'm not too concerned about it. Let's uh, lightning these. I just wanted to see what it's like to lightning a uh, skeleton army. <laughs> Alright, so that's 2-0, guys. So as you can see how the deck works and stuff, you basically, um, let's go ahead and put it like this. It's like a Golem, Lightning, Mega Minion. There we go. So that's kind of like, um, you got your defense. Defense, I usually like separate them, but offense, offense. And then the rest can kind of be both, but offense, I would say. The good thing about the Baby Dragon is it's good at sp Splash, so it's going to knock out all the all the small junk that everyone's... A lot of people are playing small troops that can't be Lightning right now, like uh, Minion Horde, Skeleton Army, all that stuff so all right I hate this starting hand this is like not good I like princess as a starting hand okay we can always um lightning that for only a one um, elixir loss but we'll see how this goes I mean yeah, I can... I guess I can see why you did that. I'm just doing that to go ahead and... Look how much damage this is doing, guys. It's ridiculous. Can I get the golem down in time? Of course not. Forced to use a fireball. He's got to be lower on elixir than we are. I bet he had no elixir. There's no way he had more. He just placed a, uh, yeah, he's out of elixir. So we're at eight. He's probably at like three or four. So I think we're still okay, guys. He's still not at 10, still not at 10, still not at 10. He can't be, he should be close to 10 right about now. We're gonna go archers, baby dragon, mega minion. Look at those archers get to town. So he spent a lot of elixir 
He's gonna be spending so much elixir to take out that tower. Here comes the fireball, probably. Look, the skeletons took out that uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. He had to do that to take out my archers. These skeletons are going to take that tower. He's got no elixir. What's he going to do? He don't even have an elixir to fireball the tower now. So, yeah. That's the deck, guys. We went 3-0 with it in this episode. I hope you learned a little bit about the deck. I know, you know, I never claimed to be a pro player. I'm trying to become the best player I can be. I want to... I want to be someone that can at least take down some decent sized tournaments, but, uh, you know, I'm not playing for big money or nothing, but I do know a little bit about the game and I do watch a lot of, you know, videos that explain how to play decks and stuff. And, uh, you know, you've got two, three cost cards. Now the guards are three cost two if you want to play them instead of baby dragon and that would take it down a little cheaper and then you can play the ice spirit instead of the log, but the log gives you an answer for goblin barrel and princess and the skeleton army that gives you an answer for them as well because that splash can take them out quickly it's just a really good deck all around it's kind of expensive 3.9 but you got to remember you got these two cards and then other other than them everything's pretty cheap except for the baby dragon of spore elixir it's not that bad but guys please tell your clan about the channel if you want to subscribe hit that logo that's popping up on the screen right now if you want to get into a giveaway, um, I'm giving away a gift card over on the Bananatic giveaway. That video will be popping up on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Teamwork makes a dream work. Smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's live stream tournaments and in tomorrow night's video. Peace.